Hey guys, welcome back to episode 88 of Animal Crossing, and we are two days away from the finale, so... Oh my goodness, this finale is <laughs> it's, it's almost over. Oh my gosh, it just, it just feels like it just finished. It just started, I don't know why. This, this whole entire season just went by so quickly, and I just didn't have any time to really do anything, so... Anyways, um, let's see, what am I going to talk about today? I think I will be talking about... Oh, X-Factor. Yeah, so I saw X-Factor today, and I was happy. I was happy with the result. I really was. Uh, Melanie won, which totally, totally in agreement with. And I actually agreed with the fact that Josh got second, because... Based on last night, I really think Josh's second song really got him a second place finish, you know. And I think he did a really good job on the second song, and um, even though the first song was not that great, it still was miles better than Chris's, either of Chris's performances, you know. Like I said last night, Chris really kind of dropped the ball. The first song really was out of tune, and the second song was, you know, a rehash of a rehash, you know, so... I've seen that I've seen Chris do that song so many times. It's now time to, you know, stop singing the same thing, you know. So I was totally happy with the results. Melanie got first, Josh got second, and Chris got third. So I think that that's probably should have what should have happened too. So that was that was pretty right rightful, I think. As far as the show itself, I have to say I was, um, it, it got, there was a point in the show where I started getting very sleepy. I don't know, <laughs> because it was just taking forever. I really think two hours is way too long, and I just don't have enough, t and it just feels really dragged out and really long, and unless you keep my attention all the way through the entire show, I really don't think it's, un it's really unnecessary to have a two-hour show. So... Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what happened tonight because some of it is just a blur. I think they started off with uh, the final 12 singing uh, Edge of Glory. I thought they were okay, you know, for the most part, you know. You know I think they could have, some of them are just not that great of a singer, so their parts were kind of not that great. I think Leroy, though, kind of screwed up part of his line. Uh, yet again, I don't know what's up with him. Every time he sings <laughs> on a get... Every time he sings in one of these songs, it feels like um, he always feels like lost. It's he never is on cue. So, I don't know. He's got to work on his timing. And Josh, to me, I just don't... I, I didn't feel like Josh was really into this performance to me. I don't know. It just felt like when it, when it's a song that he doesn't really like, then he just kind of like wings it, you know. Whatever happens, happens. And that's okay, I guess. But at the same time, I really want, would like you to, you know, take take this really seriously. Because I think a lot of the other people are taking it seriously, too. So, that's my biggest problem. That I mean, those were my okay moments in the song. It was okay in general. And I didn't really have anything bad to say about it. Um, trying to think of what happened. Melanie... She sang All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah, and um, she was great. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of song I would like her to sing, you know, especially in, in the Chris. If you're going to sing a Christmas song, sing that one, because that's the kind of song that's built for, for Melanie, you know. So I think she did a really good job with it. She hit the notes correctly, and... Um, I think about these Christmas songs, all it is is really singing them. So she sang it really well. As far as Chris Renee is concerned, he's saying, uh, Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I thought he did alright. You know, I don't think he's the best singer. Like, I, I, I've always thought he's never, like, the best singer, but he can sing. I think he did a decent job with it. I don't think it was that great, you know. I don't think it was that great, but I don't think it was that bad either, so... As far as Josh sang, I don't, I don't even know what jo song Josh sang. I don't, can't remember what it's called. But I thought he was okay too, from what I heard. 
I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say anything when you don't know the song, and I'm not really like that enthusiastic about Christmas songs because I don't know. Ten million versions of Silent Night is really just too much. Oh, there's Aurora. <laughs> Anyways, um, what, what else happened? I'm trying to remember. Oh, Justin Bieber came out. He sang his Christmas songs melody. Uh, no. Mel, me, medley, <laughs> not melody, <laughs> medley, and um, I think it was okay. You know, I don't think Justin Bieber is like that great, but I don't think he's that bad either. You know, so I'm I'm okay with him. I I don't really hate him. I don't really like him. You know, I'm indifferent. You know, and yeah, he was fine. I I don't I didn't have a problem with it, but I didn't love it. As far as and then they had, he had Drew come out and she sang one line of the song. That was fine. I guess that helps. That was good for her because she really likes Justin Bieber. So, you know, I think that was a good Christmas present for her, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. As far as, and then they had the results. And then they said Chris Renee was last. So, you know, not really surprised based off of last night. As far as, um,. After that, what happened? I can't. Re I can't even remember really that well. <laughs> I should should try to remember what happened. They had Fifty Cent, or I, I think they had Fifty Cent. After that, and Fifty Cent was okay. I mean, no, 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 no. He wasn't okay. He was kind of bad. You know, he, you can tell how many times he was bleeping out words and the provocative dancers and all that. That is just low to me. It's like when you have to do all that kind of stuff to actually get attention and showcase yourself. That means that you are just drawing attention to stuff. You have no talent. And I just don't think that that was very good. <laughs> so I thought it was wrong. I actually thought, you know, even though I don't like Astro, I thought Astro was better than 50 Cent. To be honest. Because Astro, at least I can understand what he was saying. 50 Cent, I can't even understand the damn thing that he was saying. So... As much as I hated Astro, I really hate Fifty Cent. <laughs> I don't really, I don't, I don't like it at all. And then we, and then after that, I believe they had Neo and Pitbull singing uh, some song. I don't remember what it was called. I thought they were okay. I don't know. I just don't. I, I, I just never really. I can't really see Pitbull as a rapper. I just don't. I don't know what it is. Just something about him. The way that he looks, it just doesn't, he just does not look like a rapper. And for him to rap, it's kind of strange. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Um, I thought they were fine together and then Marcus came out and he was fine too. Um, then they had a bunch of montage videos with Simon and, and uh, LA going at each other's throats. And Paula and, Paula and Nicole crying all everywhere in the entire world. Uh, okay, uh, and, you know, it was just like failure, <laughs> okay, let's, let's just, let's just go, okay. After that, they had, um, I'm trying to remember exactly, Melanie and Jaw sing Heroes, I think, from David Bowie. I thought it was okay, you know, I think they're probably the two strongest singers of the season. And, um, I think they were fine. Nothing really to say about them. I don't know. I'm not really that enthusiastic about David Bowie in general, so I don't think I don't think he's that great, you know. But it was okay. And then they had the results, I believe. And Melanie won, so and poor thing, she was crying all over the place. And he still has the nerve to keep asking her questions and I'm like she's completely speechless. Like let her like let her go, let her be for like a few minutes or a few moments. Give her some time to actually recover, you know. And I thought she, I thought she did a great job this whole entire season. Really, she was my favorite all the way through. And I'm glad that at least for the first season, they get it right, you know, in terms of the singing aspect of this competition. You know, next couple of seasons, if they don't want it to be like that, then that's fine. But right now, I think they made the right decision. And, keep, and I think America made the right decision in 
in Melanie winning the X Factor. So I'm so happy that they finally gave somebody, you know, who actually does sing really well the win. And also, yeah. I was totally happy, and that's a great way to finish the season, you know, with the winner, the person who really shouldn't win. So, yeah. I don't have very much to say, else to say about um, X Factor. I thought it was a really good. I thought it was a pretty good show, but again, then again, I really think it could have been condensed down to about an hour and a half. Really, it just felt like it was too long. So yeah, now I'm done officially talking about shows and stuff, and I think everything's going well now. Adventure Island Two is going through. It's finishing up, and I'm actually going to do all the levels, so, as far as I can go, so, making sure that that's done. Then SMW, that's still being worked on. Zelda is being worked on, and something else, I can't remember exactly, but okay, <laughs> for this moment. And that's pretty much it for this video, I can't think of anything else to really do. Well, I gotta move some of the coins and stuff. And that's pretty much it. So you won't be hearing me talk about X Factor anymore for a while at least. So hope you guys enjoy this episode. See you guys later. Take care. Bye.